Will. That's right here in the Roadshow Kitchen. Oh, it is our lucky day. I am flanked. It's like a Brendan Kirby sandwich. On either side of me, the pieces of bread that we know and love so much. John Granada, Chef John Granada from the Post Office Cafe. Good morning, sir. Good morning, yes, sir. Nice Soon to be Soon Johnny to be. Granada's restaurant and bar, by the way. That's right. Absolutely. Same great location, but fabulous. We love and the name. You, you are know? the TV maitre d'. Uh, that's the last time I checked. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, TV. Good morning, Fryer fans. To, what are we going to do? Uh, why do you have to do I'm that? I'm sorry, oh, but I went to sleep and I thought it was in, you I know, know. and it's, uh, uh, it's not good. We still love them. John, what are we mm. making today? Guinness short rib, short rib stew. Yes. So Thank we're going to make a beef stew, basically, with Guinness and short ribs, because short ribs are better than other beefs. Yeah, of course they are. Take us it's through the stop. ingredients. <clears throat> so we're going to, uh, basically, in the recipe, you would stew the short ribs right in the stew, but because of time restrictions, where we braised off the short ribs ahead of time. So we have short rib, we have carrots, we have potatoes, a little bit of tomato. Um, we're going to season it up with rosemary and garlic. And I have some celery and onions in the vault. Oh, the because vault. Because you know the lights with the celery and onions. Yeah, and, and then you get onion, you smell like onions yeah, all day, wherever you want. <laughs> Listen, has he ever made anything yet in eight years that wasn't fabulous? It's always fantastic. Absolutely. Always, always so this succulent. will be two. Yeah. So it's a very simple recipe. Beef stock in... Uh, and Guinness, uh, finish the stew. So you let it stew. If, with, with the short ribs from scratch, you're going to go about two hours, but we're going to get this done. Oh, I know the fryer's lost. Why do you keep reminding me of it? Well, because <laughs> there's a guy that's going to be calling you today. I think his name's Nunzio. I don't know. Uh, I'm not your Nunzio number. your name in the back. <laughs> and remind <laughs> us of where you're located, sir. <laughs> 11 Main Street, East Greenwich. So basically what I did was I put a, my second location in my first location. That's right. So... My first location was the Post Office Cafe. My second location is Johnny Granada's Restaurant and Bar in the same place. I feel I'll Has just that been done? stand back here and let the two of you banter around. Uh, that's all right. This is Joe Zito, John Granada, more from them in a bit. Back to you. Thanks, Brendan. I'm laughing because John is giving me some flack because I won't reveal who I selected to win my bracket. But we'll leave it at that. It's like personal. I don't know. <laughs> he and Joe are in here. They're busy. Well, John's busy. You're just hanging I'm out just here, yeah, but brackets, <laughs> brackets are a very personal thing. Right? You know? Sure. I'll tell you if I was yeah. right in the end. <laughs> Bring us up to speed. It's great I will get this out of here before the day is over. <laughs> All right. So we're we sweating to the onions we're now. We're sweating Ooh. the onions and the, and the celery. Uh, the next step in this would normally be to add the beef. But okay. um, I braised the short ribs off ahead of time so that we could try this dish because it takes about two hours to really finish this properly. Yeah, it'd be the price okay. is right and we'd still be making it. It doesn't make any right. sense. Well, doesn't yeah, that's you know, true. I don't know if they'll allow that. So what but. do you suggest? Do you suggest braising them beforehand and then adding that to our pot or you can just put them in raw? Either way. So if the night before, if you want to braise those off, you can okay. do this all the, that day, which, you know, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so you can't do it. You could have to do it tonight. Right. Okay. Okay. Right, right, after, right after you divulge your bracket, you would have to. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But anyway, um, bang. Carrots. All right. Carrots. Yeah. Very easy. This is Irish stew. Very yeah. easy. Potatoes. And did you cut the I like the, the fingerling potatoes. I did for this. For this, okay. you don't have to. But you know what? If you roast the potatoes off ahead of time, it does give it a different com complex flavor. They're smaller though, and they're easier to work with. The fingerling. And they're a little different. Yeah. Yes. I like. The, I love fingerling potatoes. I think they're yeah. great. I'm going to dump the meat right in oh my there. Goodness. A little bit of garlic. I put a little rosemary in it. I know it's not Irish, but. Puts but it, it in everything. Good. Yeah, it's fabulous. It's green. And <laughs> yeah, about exactly. a cup of tomato sauce, prepared tomato sauce, or whatever whatever you have at home is fine. But, Yum. you know, homemade would be yeah, better. Yeah, don't be offended with the tomato, tomato sauce, Michaela O. Johnson. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. So we have beef stock. <laughs> yep. And then the star of the show, ah, a Guinness stout. Delicious. Kicking up the Ireland flair. So hopefully when we come back, this will kind of come together. And then yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to, when we serve it, we're going to serve it with um, some crushed up sour cream and cheddar potato chips on top for a little texture. This sounds delicious. It okay, does. we're going to let that go, though. Stu needs time to kind of all develop those delicious flavors. When we come back, we'll hear more, and we'll hear about that wine, too. We will. We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Guinness short rib stew is what we got going on. Chef John Granada from the Post Office Cafe and TV maitre d' Joe Zito joined us this morning. It's me, it's me. This looks so good. Yeah. This looks really, really good. Oh, look at that now. Now we're getting somewhere, that huh? That so nice. Yeah. Okay, so basically what we got in here is we got the short ribs stewing nice, nice. Right. We got uh, potatoes. I've used fingerling potatoes for a little 
good looks. Mm -hmm. um, we got carrots, we got onions, we got celery, we got garlic, we got a little rosemary. And you also said the, the Guinness is going to add a different uh, like flavor, like a buttery yeah. flavor to it? Yeah, well, Guinness has that kind of buttery, creamy thing going mm -hmm. on, and uh, it also has a complexity of bitterness and like almost coffee-ish. Got it. A lot so, of flavors going on yeah, in here. Yeah, there it's is. Pretty, it's that with creative. The stock, and it actually, you know what I mean? It actually works together really well. Um, How long should this simmer simmer for? Well, if you're going to do this from scratch, you want to go two hours. But because we pre-cooked the meat, um, we're almost ready to eat it. Oh, good. Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right, so while this is going, you want a great wine. You want something nice to drink while yeah, you're having Yeah, now, of course. I mean, having this? Uh, tomorrow's a day for a fabulous beer of all kinds. Sure. And you've got Guinness in here. You can have a, a, a beautiful Guinness with it if you'd like. But these are two wines that are my particular favorites. Mm. They're from France. And Louis Jadot is one of my favorite oh, vintners, you, okay? Jadot. Yeah, Louis Jadot is very nice. And I like <laughs> these two wines. They're in the 11 to $15 range. Right. You can find them everywhere. My friend Chris Gasparro certainly has them always at the lowest prices because I love him. And that's uh -huh. why. But the fact of the matter is Beaujolais Village is a soft, it's not Nouveau, but it's still a soft, fruit-forward red wine. It would go, it's dry, and it would go very, very well with this. Right. And, of course, if you prefer white, these wines are from Burgundy, France, both of them. And this is the Mecon Village, mm -hmm. which also was a Chardonnay. It's a beautiful, beautiful white wine. It's clean, it's crisp, it's dry. And I love these. And you know, for the Easter's coming up, your Easter table. Sure. These are wonderful wines that don't break the bank, and you'd be very proud to have I think these. I'd with, I think I'd go with the red wine with this. Beautiful, yeah. soft, and it's good to drink even without food. Right. And speaking of Easter. Easter. My friend's yeah. restaurant, mm -hmm. Post Office Cafe, Long soon to, to be Johnny Granada's. Johnny Granada's restaurant and bar. Right. Are open noon to five with a beautiful Easter menu. Sounds good. So right. 12 to 5, you got, you're going to be 12 open? 12 to 5, we're open on Easter. We're going to do our regular dinner menu, mm -hmm. and we're going to do some special to go along with, you know, your basic holiday uh, lamb, ham, right, roast beef, things like that. Well, it's great because uh, on that day, a lot of people they they don't feel like cooking at home. It's a great day to go to a restaurant to gather around. You got plenty of room. Nice yeah, you got plenty of room. You could open up the uh, out in front there, which is really nice as well. Yeah, we might be jumping the gun on um, that. What about gonna, reservations? Uh, reservations are welcome. Right. It's not Absolutely. too early for that, and you know, a lot of restaurants and a lot of wonderful restaurants, not too early for Mother's Day either. No. Don't wait till the last minute, guys, because like, the guys in. make the reservations then, you and sometimes know they wait. Outside no, you don't. No, we love no. Mom. All right, let's dig in here. Let's see what All we right. got going so, here. You got this. Yours. Thank you, sir. Yours. Put this in. Thank you. That looks so good. And I even like even the uh, the beef that you have, in, the uh, short rib that you have in there, larger chunks of, of oh, the meat yeah, in there, yeah. too. Because you've got to show that short rib. Also. And you know, you've got all flavor. Now, can I just say what oh, yeah, we're yeah, going to do again, I'm sorry. over there? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I took some uh, sour cream and cheddar potato chips. This right. is a trend, by right. the way. Oh, is and, it? Yeah, culinary yeah. trend. Right. So you want to take that, and you want to just kind of put that over the top. Sprinkle a little texture. Little texture. Look at that. And that looks so cheddar, good. Cheddar and short ribs and beef broth. It all goes together so well, right. you know what I mean? Right. And the sour cream will take everything out. Let I'm going to go in. You can see that. I mean, the steam is really coming from this, so we're going to yeah, be, be careful. We're going to be. It's, it's really hot stuff. But if you would like the recipe for this, you can head on over to our website, roadshow.com. Thanks, guys. You're welcome.